No. At least the soap's clean. Okay, so that's locked. Let's go through. I, I think I did what I could. The killer? You need health so badly, it's ridiculous. Oh boy. Home. Sometimes where the heart is. We were so happy, so happy starting, starting, a new starting a new life, a new life, a fresh beginning, fresh beginning. Far away, far from away, past, past. Just, just you just and me. Then, then the sickness the came. came. I had to sit there and watch as I wasted away in my room. room. I left you with so many questions. questions. But now I can, help, now you. I can help you. You'll find the You'll truth find the in the basement. basement. Find the truth in the basement, but first I want to find some health. That's if I interested in a lot of the rooms I'm running through are the more normal rooms that have appeared throughout the game. Before I find the truth in the basement, it would really, really help if I could fucking find some healing. Like, to, it's to a ridiculous degree how much I need health right now. I think one attack from literally anything would kill me right now. Like literally anything. Oh boy. Hello basement, my old friend. Probably when I go back upstairs after going to the basement where things go wrong. Never mind, found the secret. Sweetie, can you give me a med pack before I go fight you, who I assume is the final boss in the basement? I guess not. Mother knows best. Under her guidance, I continue to delve deeper into my past. Clues as to what I once was, what I would become, must be contained somewhere in our old apartment. <laughs> I had only just started looking, however, when I was overcome by another sudden loss of consciousness. As I struggled against the inevitable tide, I felt something in my mind slip just slightly. I need help so bad, it's ridiculous. One is pipe, two I have no more ammo for, three is shotgun, four I got nothing for, five is nothing, six is big heavy weapon, seven is knife, so seven is the knife, got it. What is this place? Deep dark basement secret? I just want health. It hurts. We? It's pretty cool you got it, man. All right, scan off that. You're in a mental asylum. Hold on, so my mental asylum is up here. Voila. God, even if it's just a little bit, it's better than nothing. My save game here, so I don't do stuff over again. Any further healing would be greatly appreciated. Health for this. Look how much of a slither of health I have left. Like 
one more flying head shows up and I'm dead. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it's nice to have a little more ammo, but... Okay... That's a lot of hair. It won't open, but it has a strange hole. It must need a key. Oh, it's good that you clarified that. So we're looking for the key through here. I am also desperately on the hunt for health items. There will be a hunt until I'm okay again. To be fair, they haven't given me a medical pack for a while outside of the big ones. I'm about to deal with whatever for a while. It's one attack for anything and I'm dead. Well, okay, now I won't go to the floating head area yet. Oh, right, that's where I came from. Over there, heads will attack me. I need to go over here first, anyway. Be it right to feed me, though. It was a fair exchange. Let me see how useful this knife is. The other weapon's really slow, even if it is powerful, so. Knife battle! The problem is, it has the same distance, and. Okay. I want to save my shot. I guess since this is fast, I'll use it against this first guy. Every enemy defeat without taking a hit is a success in my life. That success. Well, that's the thing. Let's go through here. Was there anything this there? Oh, it's a plant. In the future, if I'm going to come in here, I won't. Next cell is locked. This area is open, but useless. That's locked one. Two on edge right now. <laughs> Peekaboo? I guess his batteries in there. I think that's just for the flashlight and nothing else based on what's been working so far, but. My drill didn't seem to have come back. <laughs> of course they put health items just right beyond my reach here. Why do they have to do this to me? There's because it's ready to feed the guy right. So if that was barricaded, what am I looking for? Those is the only room with an enemy so far. I definitely don't see him like a key or something. Oh. The doors disappeared here. Oh, and this is also opened up. Okay. Of course. Life is life. If it doesn't have me jumping down more holes, right? I am gonna be a little 
little bit courteous. We have to go up, look to the left, look to the right. This is gray. Da -da -da. Snake on out. Please have help. Please have help. Please have help. I knew it was going to be ammo even before I did it, but I was hoping it'd be help. On the other side of this, though. Actually, I'm probably about to get to the health in just a moment. Oh, but I think they're gonna direct me the other direction. Give me that goddamn health. I need more than that, but I will make do. Save my game. Oh, some machine gun. Interesting, but I'm gonna try and save it. I knew that was gonna happen right there, now there too. Two ghosts defeated with only really one hit. I can say that as a success. Some living life on the edge right now. That's closed off. Let's go this direction. Stairway, of course it's locked. Oh, whatever this room is is open. It's another med pack. Unfortunately, I have to kind of use it almost immediately. even heal me all the way. So of course I do. I'm very surprised that opened. Before I go inside the elevator. What's down here? Who knows? Going this way. Let's see where it takes us. There we go. Well, let's get to exploring. I knew that was gonna happen. for the moment. You know what? Because I know there's a health item right there, I think I know what I'm going to try and do. What load point is this? Right after I defeat these enemies? Okay. I'm going to pick up the med pack, but I'm not going to use it. Because there's another health thing coming up very shortly afterwards, I think I'm going to try and hold out from using it. I think in the long run, I will appreciate that more. So pick this up. Take the elevator. Beat the ghost that's up there. And then, yeah. Take on Mr. Ghosty. I even went there with him this time, so pick this stuff up. I don't know what's the other thing I picked up though. Whatever it is, I got it. Now let's investigate. That's locked. That's a box. This seems like such a small, little useless area. So I'm like really suspicious things gonna happen here. Like this particular short hall. Well, I figured it out. 
Mother said I can find the answers in the basement. Maybe in a box with photos or something. I think the knife I just picked up is a collectible, so... It was so simple, just take the knife and do it. Some dark implications. Yes. I think I need something better than the pipe I'm using for this guy. Well, at least I got a better idea what's going on there. Alright, what weapon do I think would be best for that guy? My handgun, though. Well, that deserves a reload. Because <laughs> I'm really low on ammo right now. I think the shotgun, because I think I can get up close. The machine gun is going to probably be useful in a game like this, so. Maybe this guy is not killable. Not that right now. Maybe I'm just supposed to avoid him. Well, at least I tried that because it doesn't seem like he's worth the health. Maybe I just run from him. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack jumped over the candlestick, so just kind of lure him and go the opposite way. Seems like my best bet. Oh, oh yeah, it has arrows. Okay, no, I think I'm supposed to run to the elevator. I just noticed the arrows on the ground. So, invincible guy who chases headbutts. I only just noticed there was in the ground. Yep. To the elevator. Baby doll's gonna leap out at me. Is the knife the key? I bet the knife is the key, isn't it? Just checking around. There's definitely some more enemies that have spawned this way. That stuff won't open, it's time to take the long crawling way. Now what I'm thinking is that the knife is probably the key to that one door with all the hair on it, so... Because why wouldn't it be, really? Continue on through the pathway. Can't break that open, so I go down here. I don't think it was slanted like this, was it? Maybe it was, maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe it's trying to throw me off, because I definitely... Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Well, 
this raises a few interesting predicaments. Disappeared. Simple as that. I'm gonna still have to face all those head things in that other room. Oh, fuck, that's a new enemy. That was a new type of enemy that just decided to come around the corner and start vomiting at me. How oh, I like it. Not really. Oh boy, life is a struggle sometimes, isn't it? game here again. Pull out my default pipe weapon. I'm pretty sure the knife goes in here. Yep, insert the knife. It's a doorknob. Which leads into darkness, my favorite. Can't walk off the sides though, so that's good. Patient 311363. I think this has something to do with my father. This record says something happened to him at Susan Cross Hospital. Hmm. Patient, a patient was arrested for brutal murder in November. The police have requested a psychiatric examination. Notes I'm going to refer a number to a psychiatric examination in the Suzanne Cross Hospital. He must be secured at all times because of his aggressive behavior. During examinations, it is suggested that he should be he should locked he should lock to one of our special patient care rooms. Well, is the way of the future. Well, let's go. I have to find my father's records. I'm sure they're in the car. Time to car it out. Another fade out screen. This is going on for a bit longer than I expected. Finally, a concrete clue has surfaced. My father, who was so rarely a topic of discussion between myself and mother, has resurrected in the form of a hospital document. My path became clear for the first time in what seems like years. I made my way quickly to the hospital in search of records or files on my father or other family members who might have been admitted. The family history has become of the utmost importance to me. Hospital fun. Thanks for watching the video. I'd very much appreciate if you take a moment to consider donating to my Patreon, where I'm trying to turn this into a livelihood for missed game videos, different higher quality video series for the channel, and my own little games to make from time to time. You can learn more about all of this at the link, which you'll also find in the description below. If you'd like to watch me record my game videos, take part in development streams, or just interact some, I stream quite regularly at my hitbox.tv channel and it's where I record all my gameplay for my Let's Plays. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and until next time, adieu.